Hello, welcome to The Winecast with me, Latricia Marie, coming to you today with a nice wine to try. It is from Argentina. Of course, I know I haven't brought you one from there before, but you definitely need to expand and try different, you know, countries' wine. So I'm bringing you one from Argentina to try because this one is a good introductory into Malbecs. It's a 2018 Malbec out of Argentina called the Chero. I really like the label. I was like, let me go ahead and try this one. I like Malbecs. I have other Malbecs that I'm bringing you. We're going to start with this one, though, to kind of introduce you to Malbecs if you're not a Malbec fan. So you know what you're looking for. But this one, definitely worth a try. I will say now, disclaimer for people who may have not expanded to Malbecs before, never tried it before, just kind of be optimistic be open to it i'm not gonna bring you something that tastes as bad so get that out your head if you tried any of the wines that i've suggested you will know that so definitely try this particular wine i really like the label um they really did a really good job with this particular wine they give you a lot of information on the back as well let's get into it right this is how it looks very 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 purple color dark purple it has a rich purple tint to it the smell, that's where I'm going to say be open-minded because it can be off-putting because it doesn't have a boldness like a cab, which is kind of good for some people, but you're going to smell oak. You're going to smell red raspberries. That's what you're going to get because it's not as bold and it has more of the nature feel to it because of the process on how they do this particular wine at this particular vineyard. So it's very elegant in a, yeah, this is the best way I can describe the smell. Yeah, oak and red raspberry. It has a medium body to it. I'll tell you that now, it's very silky. So that's really nice to go along with what you're smelling, the elegance of it. They really put a lot of heart into this particular wine. You can taste it. nice acidity it's not bitter at all kid you not not bitter it's not dry it, it doesn't have that sweetness too which is okay but it has that raspberry taste notes to it. it the taste is there of raspberry dark cherry that's what i'm it's like a blend of a raspberry and a dark cherry if you like those two fruits, if you tasted those two fruits, this is what I'm getting when I taste this particular wine. I would definitely pair this with beef. Definitely pair this with beef. Creamy cheeses that aren't as bold in flavor because of how elegant this is. It has to be a, a really nice, not bold cheese. That is not a smoked gouda. Definitely not a smoked gouda. Nothing sour or like, oh, uh, what's the one cheese that's like very bold? I'm a probably link it down but don't try that with this definitely seafood salad definitely seafood salad it go well with the salmon yeah it goes really well with salmon definitely try this one again it's called the chero 2018 malbec definitely look this one up out of argentina it's definitely worth you expanding your palate finding your zone let me know how this goes for you and enjoy your sip